ways I have experienced persecution and censorship as an artist are linked to my work as a cartoonist. Because of my cartoons, I have suffered harassment and received death threats, and the media outlet that published my cartoons was raided by the police, so I had to get out. And now I am in exile, but I keep doing my cartoons every day. To be silent uh, was the price of my peace of mind. But we are never at peace um, until the day we decide to speak, to express our senses. My band became a target for cynical politicians and pundits who stoked religious fervor, be it Christian or Muslim, for their own gain, accusing us of everything from Satanism to uh, debauchery to lack of authenticity. When I was back in Iran, I had to start my career as an underground artist, not being able to express myself in the way that I truly wanted. But eventually I wanted to be able to perform publicly in my country. And I had to go through a very Orwellian process of getting a permit from the Ministry of Culture, which would censor every part of the process, of my songwriting, the lyrics, what I could wear, what I could say, and it was a horrible experience. The Artistic Freedom Initiative has impacted me by looking at the great work they do helping artists in several levels of need to keep doing what they should be doing, art. Their precious support uh, in moments of doubles and uh, lonely less in my career. Uh, they extended their hand to me. And uh, it's a bit like my artistic family. Helping me develop my craft and giving me the resources and connections to further my career as an artist. If it wasn't for AFI, I wouldn't have had the opportunities I do today. But more importantly, the fact that they believed in me and gave me the opportunity to be heard, did wonders to my confidence. Using their network to open doors that were stubbornly close to me and by being an example of true artistic allyship. I can't thank them enough for all the support and opportunities they've given me to start over after having almost kind of like lost everything. I will be eternally grateful for that.